Hey everyone. Um, okay, so I have a message here from Alexis. Do you have another one with a different color font? I had to zoom to see the names in red. So I'm going to show you how you can change this if it's something you don't like. So I'm going to click on the picture, pull it up, right click, copy image. I'm going to go to handydandypaint.net, edit, paste a new image, and then I have it here. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see these colors a little bit better. All right, so now I'm going to come use this tool right here, Magic Wand. Click that, and then I'm going to come to this red because that's what we don't like. That's what we want to change. I'm going to hold the Shift button, and I'm going to click that red. All right, so you can see it grabbed a whole bunch of this and it grabbed most of satin sheets. Well, I don't want it to grab all of that, so I'm going to lower the tolerance. If you come up here to Tolerance, this is how much and how close to that red we're going to get. So we're going to come down here. Let's try it. All right, that's better. Maybe up a little bit. All right, so it's separating it, which is good enough for me. Okay, I just don't want it connected, but it looks like I got most of the lettering. So now let's try a different color. Let's try yellow. That's a super bright color. Maybe this will work. Now I'm going to grab my paintbrush and two is really small. I'll be painting forever. So let's go up to 45. All right. Right here is where it's closest. It's grabbing this stuff in here, but that's where it's closest to something else. So I'm just going to go right to the edge and I'm going to paint that and that, and then I'm going to color and we could even, since it didn't like on the E, it didn't grab a whole bunch of it. You could raise the tolerance and just be really careful not to get into those other spots. Um, but there you go. That's how you would change the color on something. Magic wand. So magic. And then you could make this any color that you want. And I don't know if this makes it so you can read it better or not. It might be a different font that would make it so you can read it better. Um, but that's what it looks like now. Now you can see there's still some of that red in there. So what we could do, if that's not good enough for you, if you want to change it some more, we'll go back here and undo till we get all the yellow back out. Let's raise that tolerance a little bit more. And now it's grabbing the whole word. So that's too much tolerance. <clears throat> so let's come down here. All right, that looks pretty good. We still have a whole bunch of the other bar and stuff. Um, let's do neon green this time. And again, I wanna get just close enough. Actually, let's Let's raise that tolerance a little bit more. Um, don't forget to hold down shift. All right, so now it grabbed the whole word it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. So we can come through here and we can color all of this. And we'll see if this makes it any more easy to read. I don't know if it will or not. Sometimes with fonts, oop, satin sheets kind of got screwed up. We definitely don't want to do that. See how it's grabbing all of this stuff in here? So let's hit undo. Let's lower this a little bit more so we don't get the background in there. Still got a little bit in there, so let's lower it a little bit more. All right, that I can work around. The E's though still has some in there, um, but I still think it'll be more legible. But this is this is basically what I do. I just go in and I change what I want to change, see if I can't make it a little, stand out a little bit more. Um, if it's a flyer that I'm making, then I could have saved it as a ping attachment instead of a JPEG, and then it wouldn't like the layers would still be there. So when I showed you how to make a flyer, um, 
you have these different layers here and the wording would be on a different layer. So I could just go delete the wording and it would delete all of the letters without getting rid of the background. Whereas if I try to delete any of it now, it's going to delete all the background too. So um, it's just kind of one of those things that you got to be careful on. Now let's make this a lot smaller so we can get in there in that little spot. Oops. We need it even smaller. Now you could always freehand this too. I'm not a fan of freehand. I can't move my mouse in a straight line. All right, so that's what it looks like now. So yeah, that's definitely a little bit easier to read. And again, you can pick any color you want, but that way you don't have to, you know, come in and say, I don't like this font on this or whatever. You can try to change it. Um, now I'm going to show you too, since I got you here, um, if the background is a background that you can change, um, or that you can redo pretty easily, then I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. So let's say that we want to completely change the name of this bundle. We're going to come over here and we're going to select all of this and we're going to delete it. It's gone. Now this little eyedropper color picker tool, get that and pick this blue right here because that's what we want and then come up here and you have a little bit of variation here but for the most part we matched it. Um, and you could go in and you can do things to fix this. Um, one of my favorite things to do is I'll come in here and I'll grab the top just a little tiny layer like this and then I will um, grab the selector tool and then when I drag this up it just kind of blurs it it's not great but it still keeps you from having those harsh lines anywhere in your thing um, and then you could even do like an unfocus to make it even less of a harsh line all right, there we go. So then go into effects, blurs, unfocus, and see how it just giving it that little bit of unfocus kind of softens all of this up a little bit. And now my wording is gone. Um, doing that kind of stuff is going to mess with your flyer, which is why it's good to make your own flyers because then you can edit them as you see fit. Um, it's a lot harder to edit an already done flyer than it is to uh, edit a flyer you're making. Hope that helps.